be done with my job. Good morning, friends. My name is Jennifer, and today I'm making a fenugreek seed gouda. This video is mostly just going to be me making it quietly without talking, and the reason for that is two days before I filmed this cheese, I had two of my wisdom teeth out, and so I am not feeling the greatest, and my mouth wasn't working that great.
feels rather dry and hard. It smells so much like maple syrup. It's ridiculous. Like, it smells amazing, amazingly like maple syrup. I'm excited about this one. Every several days, I'm just flipping that. I'm not gonna keep filming every time, but just know this is what I'm doing. And if anything changes, I'll let you know. I'm not sure how things are aging in this little fridge. It's a natural rind. It's not developing anything on the outside. It feels very hard, but it is not splitting open like it's too dry and it's not getting a whole bunch of mold like it's too wet. But today I just opened a manchego that I've been aging in there and it is beautiful, but it tastes gritty. There's a pronounced gritty flavor to it. That is why I want to cut open this fenugreek gouda and see if that grittiness is also in there because then I will know if this cheese cave is not functioning correctly. So the manchego is down at the bottom and right here is this. And I had been putting tissues into here that are wet to add moisture, but this is dry as a bone, but down here there's sitting water in the little divots. I don't know if you can see, but it's all wet down there. So that's where the manchego was. Good morning, I am filming. What's wrong? It's slippery out there. <laughs> slippery? Yeah, you should not be motorcycling when it's raining. Okay, I'm filming to be quiet. This is a fenugreek gouda, and it is hard. You can hear how hard it is, like that hard. And little seeds are sometimes popping out. But aside from that, it's just rock. Oh, it's so hard. looks beautiful. It smells very much like maple syrup. So let's see how this tastes. I think it's gonna be gritty. What is that black thing? Holy heck, what is that? That looks like moldiness. Anyway, I'll taste this part. The rind is really hard. It tastes like maple syrup. The inside is smooth. It's really yummy. You know what I'm tempted to do? I'm tempted to just age this longer, but backpack it and see if it kind of stabilizes a little bit. Like the outside, the dry part would maybe soften a little bit. The inside would, it would just like stabilize. Cause here's the thing, when you're doing a rind, you lose part of the cheese, which we know, but it's supposed to make the cheese better inside. But why not like do the rind for part of it so you're getting that improved aging method, but then you tie it all together and it like becomes more, not uniform, but more cohesive it becomes more cohesive in the backpack bags. That's just an idea. And I'm curious about this black stuff right here. Ouch, my hair. See that right there? So that looks like just mold, almost like blue mold. But it doesn't smell like blue mold. I'm just gonna cut that out. It's just that one spot apparently. And you can kind of see like there's a hole there. So maybe some mold went in through the, one of the seeds. I don't know. Okay, tell me what you think of this cheese, you guys. Come here. Are you recording me right now? Yeah, smile. I'll smile. Can <laughs> I try some? Yeah. What is it? This is fenugreek gouda. Does it smell like maple syrup? Can't really smell it. What do you think? Isn't that wild? Maple syrup. This fenugreek gouda, it is a mild flavor. It's buttery. The seeds are soft. I don't really think about them that much. I'm gonna backpack the big one and let that one continue aging and have these small wedges ready for eating whenever we want. I'm liking this a lot. I think I might need to do more of these.